is that clear to all of you please let me know okay thank you so when we have these reactances the next step is to go to the to draw the reactance diagram which is shown in the diagram so we see the generators are connected to neutral pass and then generator reactance is 0.225 then there is fault this fault is there meaning is see here in between the generator reactance and the other reactance which is 0.15 that we calculated here generator 2.12 and then 0.15 is the reactance of the reactor again for the generator 3.12 0.15 is the reactance of the reactor. They are connected to this tie bus here at the bottom. So they are connected to this. This is the tie bus. This is the neutral bus or the reference bus. Can you understand this? How the circuit has been drawn for the reactance diagram? Can you confirm everyone if you understand how the circuit has been drawn to show all the reactances between the neutral bus and the tie bus and showing where the fault point is can you understand that and let me know if it is clear to you thank you sahil who else can confirm that they understand anyone else please confirm that if you understood how the reactance diagram is strong because that is where the trick is calculation of reactances you can do it i'm guessing that after doing this five six uh, four five tutorials you will be able to do the calculation of reactances for each of those generator reactors lines resistance line reactance all those things but when it comes with the reactance diagram that is where we might start making mistake and we cannot afford to make any mistake then the fault currents will be wrong a fault mb will be wrong all those currents will be wrong then we'll be putting wrong relays and wrong settings everything will be getting damaged in no time so can you confirm that reactance diagram is okay okay that's good so when we have the reactance diagram what we need to find out is that reactance up to the fault point which means the reactance between n and f reactance up to the fault point meaning we give them a name x total x total all the time so again we call it x total but now how do you calculate it can you calculate it yourself what is happening we need to find out the reactance between n and f so n is a common point at the top n is a common point at the top so between this point and that point so what are we not to do these are right hand side go to the right hand side and collapse it towards the n and f meaning these two are in series the right hand side most right hand side 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 they are in series so you'll get one value there these two are also in series the middle one you will get one value there then they, these two are in parallel then you get one value and after that this 0.5 here will be in series then you get one value then that will be in parallel with this point two to five is that clear so if i write it like this um point zero point one two plus zero point one five this is in series there is another one zero point one two plus zero point one five that is in they are in series but now these two are actually in parallel does it make sense these two are in parallel and when we have this then we'll have a one value that will be in series with 0.15 and then when we have that one value we put another bracket here that will be in parallel with 0.225 value can you see how I calculated it and if you understand let me know if you don't I can repeat it ok 
can you let me know check it yourself take one minute time to understand from the drawing how we are coming to this reactance calculation up to the fall point between the neutral point and the fall point f When you understand, please let me know so that I can go to the next point. Okay, we need to find out the reactance between the neutral point and F. Neutral point at the top, there is a line, but there is no reactance or resistance present in that line. It's one common point. We just drawing it because we have to show other reactances, resistances connected in whatever manner. So that neutral pass is actually a point. If we can take any point on that line, we'll be representing that line because there is no reactance or resistance connected in that line. Same thing can be said at the bottom. All of them are same. So we take that neutral point and if that is where we have to find out the reactance or resistance present in between the two points, N and F. So we have to arrive here. So what we can do, what we can do, we can go far away, the furthest place or location where the resistance or reactances are there. So we come from that farthest location, collapse, 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 finally reach that point. Like for example, I want to go to your home. I'm here in Durban. I don't know where you are. Let's say it's Chachwat. So first of all, I arrived here in Durban, which is in one of the provinces like KZN. So I carried at a KZN, I come to Durban, then from Durban, I go to your point. So that's, that is what I'm doing. The right hand side is the furthest most. Yeah, furthest space here. Yeah. So what are the resistances or reactances connected here? And how are they connected? They are connected in series. So that's why I wrote 0 0.2, 0 0.12 plus 0 0.15, they are in series. I'm coming to the second one, 0 0.12 and 0.15, they are also in series, but these two are in parallel. So that's why I put that parallel there, right? Once we have these two parallel, what we'll get? We will get one value one value of resistance or reactance or whatever one value that will be in series with this 0.15 just below f so that is why this 0.15 is in series that is plus so once we have that one in series completed we will get one value that value is now connected in between the f and n meaning it's going to be in parallel with that 0.225 so that's why i wrote that 0.225 is that okay now So what's the value you tell me that you calculate and tell me the calculation should be done by you. Anyone giving me the value of the total reactance up to the fall point. Point one two five seven. That's the right answer. So zero point one two five seven per unit is the right answer. So when we have that, we can find out the short circuit MVA, which is the base MVA over X total. And you 
tell me the value. That's the answer that was asked in the question paper. Thirty-eight point five nine. Okay, to thirty-eight point five nine. Is everyone getting the same answer? Is everyone getting the same answer? Please let me know. Anyone else? If you can confirm that you're getting that answer, point one, point one two five seven, and two thirty eight point five nine. Okay, that's good. So we can go to the next one. So next one is an example of. Okay, let me. Let me do this. We have a ring main system here. We have to calculate the short circuit MBA. It's the same thing. Nothing much more complicated here. We have to calculate the short circuit MBA when a three phase fault is occurring at the generator D bus bar. Meaning if this is the generator D bus bar and the fault point is shown here. Let me make, make it a little big. So generator, so we have generator A, B, C, D. Generator A is rated at 20 MBA, 5% reactance. Generator B is rated 50 MBA, 8% reactance. Generator C is also 50 MBA, 8% reactance. Generator D is 30 MBA, 6% reactance. And how these four generators A, B, C, D are connected? They are connected via reactances. This 40 MBA, 5%, there is another one between B and C. 50 MVA 5% reactance between C and D, 40 MVA 5% reactance between D and A, 30 MVA and 4% reactance. So all these four generators are connected to form a ring as you can see on the diagram. They are on the diagram we are very close but they can be located very far in physical system and the reactances are connecting them. So we need to calculate the short circuit MBA. So what we need to do, we need to choose the base uh, reactance in the first place. So we can choose the base reactance to be 50 because there are 50, 50, 50. So we can choose 50, 40 is there, 240. We have 230, 120. Can you see we have 350, we have 240, 230, 120. So if we choose base to be 50, it will be easy for us to do the calculation. So let's um, do the calculation. I can put it there. So let's choose base MVA is 50. So for generator YA, so X of generator A, will be how much 5% times 50 is our base and then 20 is the rating. So it's 2.5 times meaning 12.5% and it will be equal to 0 0.125 per unit. Is that okay? Can you calculate that? Let me know if you're getting that point one to five that I calculated choosing a base value of 50 and getting the new reactants corresponding to that base value that is chosen. You get it, let me know.
anyone please let me know so that we can finish this it's not that difficult stage that you need to do the calculation point one to five can anyone confirm can anyone please confirm this value I'm saying, did you cal calculate this reactance of generator A, X, G, A that I sh have shown on the screen? Can you do the same calculation and get the same value? Are you getting the same value? Okay, that's good. So we now can go to generator B, X of the generator B, and the generator B is 50 MBA, so we don't need to calculate. We will straight away write down that is 0 0.08 per unit generator c is also 50 mva so we don't need to do any calculation it way eight percent so 0 0.08 per unit that is where uh, we are saving our calculations then we can come to generator d is rated at 30 MBA and it's 6%. So 6% times 50 over 30, it should be equal to 10%. And that means it's 0.1. We have the reactances of the generators. Now we have to calculate the reactances in between the generators meaning a and b what is that 40 mba five percent so five percent times 50 over 40 a and b so between a uh, b and c between b and c what's the between say 50 mba five percent so we don't need to calculate so it's 0 0.05 per unit c and d 40 mba which we calculated already so x between c d is equal to x between a and b that you will calculate and tell me x between d and a 30 mba and which is four percent so four percent times 50 over 30 tell me the values of these three that you need to calculate and tell me quickly calculate these three values and tell me No, no, it does not necessarily be the highest or lowest or anything. I chose because that 50 is the maximum number. Max, sorry, common to many, many equipment. How many? How many 50s are there? Three of them. How many 40s are there? Two of them. How many 30s are there? Two of them. And how many 20 are there? One. So if we choose the one that is the highest number in terms of how many equipments are having that or how many uh, ratings are there like 50 there are three so i will save my calculation for three of them can you see here for a b sorry b and c generator i didn't have to calculation and for x between b and c i didn't have to do calculation that is where i'm saving so x AV is 0. Uh, 0. 0.0625 uh, and then the other one D zero point C D D A D A is point zero six six seven. That's correct. Zero point zero six 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 seven, which is correct. And I need the X C D now C D and a, B, they are same, so 0.0625 per unit. So we have everything in terms of 
the reactances. Is that clear now? Let me know if that is clear. Okay, that's good. Now we need to draw the reactance diagram. So this is the reactance diagram. Oh, sorry, not this one. But I did. What if there were an equal number of MBA? What do you mean by equal number of MBA? You can choose anything. Okay, I get your question. If they like like 250, 240, 230 or 220 or 350s, 340s, 330s, 300s. Right? You can choose any one. It does not matter. And the, your, your calculations in the middle will be having different answers. But at the end of the calculation, the fault MBA and the fault currents, everything will become the same. The only difference will be in the middle. Otherwise, it will be fine. You can choose anything. Even you can choose one MBA or 0.5 MBA. If you don't like anything that I say or the other person say, so it's not a problem. So we're coming to the reactance diagram now. Now in the reactance diagram, all the generators are connected in a ring main fashion. They are connected in a ring main fashion and their neutral bus is common. So we have this reference bus at the top and from that neutral bus or the reference bus, we will have all our generators A, B, C and D connected because all the generators have their neutrals common grounded. So no matter where they are, that, that grounding is common. That is where they are connected to the neutral bus or the reference bus. So XGA will come there, XGB will come there, XCG will come there, and X of that generator D will come there. And we write down those values. If you want to write down, it makes it easy for the next step calculation. If you write down otherwise, we might make mistake because this one is better to write because this one is much more complicated circuit as compared to the other ones that we did. So we write down the reactance values 0 0.1 to 5 of generator A, 0 0.008 for B, for uh, generator C, 08 for generator D, 0 0.1. And then we can write down now between A and B, generator A is there, generator B is there. So between A and B, that is XAB, which is 0 0.06 to 5, XBC, which is 0 0.05, this is B and this is C, so that's XBC and XCD is between say, generator C and D, so this is XCD and we still need DA. D is there, A is there, so that is where it is connected by that 0 0.66, that XD. And the fault is happening at the generator D bus bar. The fault is happening at the generator D bus bar, so fault point is here. So this is the generator D and its pulse bar is here. So the fault point is here. Is that clear? Okay, thank you. So we go to the next step of calculation from this reactance diagram. So what we do now, we have this diagram here, we see the delta circuits are there. So from those two delta, this is a delta, this is a delta. So from those delta, we need to convert them into star. Can you see this is a delta, this is another delta. This is a delta, that is another delta. Can you see that? This is a delta here, and that is another delta there. Let me put... Um, So that's one delta and this is where we have another delta. So from these two deltas, we'll get two stars. Can you understand that? This 0 0.05 and 0 0.066 will remain the same. Can anyone check and confirm if they understand that there are two deltas that will be converted to star now?
can you confirm that you understand you can see the delta configurations there in the reference size sorry reactance diagram that you drew in the first place can you see that let me know if you don't understand that it's a delta let me know I'm waiting. Anyone? Anyone, can you please confirm that you can see the delta and then we convert that delta into star and we get those values. Can you please confirm? Uh, what is happening? Tell me quickly that if you'd see and then you calculate. Okay, now if you see that delta, can you convert that delta into star? Can you calculate that number that you see there, 0 0.0374 that is coming there, 0 0.08, uh, 0.0869, 0 0.0292. Can you get that value for that first star, first delta to first star? no it's not divide by root two that that's that's a very very wrong formula somebody taught you you divide it by root divide it by root three that's i don't know what to say so how do you calculate it look at the screen this is a star that is going to sit there right uh, let me try to put a shape if i can make you understand from this delta I have a delta here. I have a delta here. Let me say that it doesn't have any shape. So that's my red delta. And let me see if I find the shape uh, like a star. I, I don't find, but it's OK. I'll take a line. So I want to make a star this way. This is my first value. So that's this particular one. Can you see that one? How do you calculate this one? You remember it this way. You never forget. You don't need to remember that divide by root three or whatever. So this one is coming from these two. This one is sitting in between this one and that one. This one and that one. So you multiply these two and divide by sum of all these three. So if I write down, uh, if I write down it this way, let's say this is, ah, sorry. R1 and I have this, this one is R2. And I say this is R3. Then how do I calculate? Let's say this one is um, this one is this blue one is let's say R1 small R1. I'm putting the star connection values as small r. So how do we calculate smaller one? It's easy to remember. 
small r1 is in between r1 and r2 so what we do and uh, that small r1 we multiply r1 and r2 then we divide it by sum of all r1 plus r2 plus r3 can you apply that and get the value can you apply that and get the value you get r1 from r1 and r2 so you multiply these two and then divide that value by the sum of all these three resistances in the delta can you do that and quickly tell me if you can find out that point zero three seven four anyone we don't have many minutes you said it's a past 10 or so so no 10 20 10 20 so i have 10 minutes I have to finish this one please so do this calculation and tell me that you getting uh point zero three seven four and if i want to calculate the the other one so if i say i want to find out this is going to be r2 and i want to find out this one which is r3 so i'll take that one and I'll call this one R2 and I'll call this one R3 so I need three values of the star so for R2 sorry which way we arrange the reactances in the uh, no it won't matter because they are fixed values the delta is this one that one that one it doesn't matter you can change but the final values will remain the same r2 look at the formula what i'm writing r2 will come from r2 and r3 so it's r3 and then the sum remains the same and the sum remains the same that's r2 so if i go and do it for the r3 r3 will come between r1 and r3 so if that's r3 r1 and r3 and the other the numerator denominator will remain the same it doesn't matter how you draw that r1 you can change r1 you can change the position of r1 r2 and r3 that is what is the question that you are asking i'm guessing that if r1 is here in the place of r2 or, or r3 will it change no it won't change because we considering the values there we considering this in this case r1 is 0.125 r2 is 0.08 and r3 is 0.0625 those values are fixed we don't need to worry about what name we are giving to them r1 r2 r2 r3 or i could call it i could call this one r1 i could call this one r3 i could call this one r2 doesn't matter so you get the values of star right i need to confirm that one first you can calculate the values of the stars here all these three values Please let me know now. You should be able to do that now. I have written the formula there. You can put it in your book. Okay, if you can do that, then you can do the same thing for the second delta to second star as well. Is that okay? When we have that second delta to second star, what we can see now, what has happened, these three resistances, three reactances are in series these two are in series so what we see here 
that these three reactances 0 0.018690 and 0 0.0206 are in series and 0 0.292 and 0 0.066 are in series. So from that one, what we can do, we can reduce that one into a smaller one. Now, can you see what is happening? So we keep that 0 0.374, 0 0.329 as they are, these three and in series, so we just add them. And these two are in series, so we just add them. All other things, the fault point, the neutral bars, everything, and the other two reactances remain the same. Can you see that? Can you see that? Do you understand that? Okay. After that, what we need to do, we need to reduce it again. So what we do, we come to this one. I'm writing it here next to this one, next to this one. So what we have, we have this 0952 and actually this is another delta now. This is another delta. This is another delta here that we need to convert to star. This is another delta that we convert to star. Can you see that? So this is another delta, we convert that into star. And I have the you have the formula here already, so you should be able to calculate that. So from that star, what we see here, these two values are in series. These two values are in series. These two reactances are in series. These two reactances are in series. So if we go from there, what we can do is that we can draw the next one which is going to be like this which is going to be like this because 0 0.007 remains the same and these two are in series meaning giving this one these two are in series giving this one the fault point is in the middle in between these two series combination so we have this now these two are in parallel so we can copy and put it here for the final value what is happening here is that these two are in parallel and then that is in series with 007 This 1161 in parallel with 0442, and then that value will be in series with 007, and then we get the final value, and that will help us to calculate the fault MVA. So we can calculate the short circuit MVA. Is well, to our base MBO was 50 by 0 0.0 0 0.390 should be now equal to find out and tell me quickly. Tell me the value of that short circuit MBA once you have done the calculation so that we can close this one.
anyone having the answer please let me know quick it should not take more than 10 seconds five seconds hello why are you so quiet Yes, that's correct. Sugusi, so thank you very much. I think everyone should get the same value. And please let me know. Uh, the time, the day and time when we can meet for the next chapter. When we can meet Please let me know before you go. You have a lecture soon. Hello. Why are you so quiet? Hello. Hello. I will need two to three hours. Three hours, let's say. Not one day, not in one day. We'll break it down. Have the number of sessions. So two o'clock on Monday. <laughs> 